In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an unquantized live looping pattern using the push and Ableton Live. Now for this, you need to turn off the global quantization option here. By default, it may be set to one bar, but I'm going to set it to none. So now the tempo doesn't really matter. And now we can use Ableton's session view like a live looping pedal. So I'll hit the session record button when I want to start the loop, play the notes, and then hit the session record button when I want to play back the loop. So let's take an example of recording a loop here. So it works, but it looks like I didn't hit that session record button at the right time. So let me just try it again. I need to make sure I hit that record button right when I play the first note. Now this time that first note for some reason has a double hit. So I found for this style of unquantized recording, the session record button is not very accurate. It's best to use another controller to trigger it or even use a computer keyboard. I'm going to use a keyboard, go into key map mode and map this session record button to a button on the keyboard here. All right, now I'll get out of key map mode and now I have one dedicated button on my computer keyboard to trigger the session record button. So let's try this again. I'm going to make the sound a bit brighter. So now I'm going to hit that key on the keyboard right when I press the first note. Hit the button again to start playback. And now we have a proper loop. Now that I've defined the length of the loop, I can engage recording with that button and add on as many layers as I want. I can tweak the sound in real time. Recording is disengaged, so none of this gets recorded in the loop. Let's add one more layer. So that's it. I hope you get the idea. That's unquantized live looping with the push and Ableton Live.